It's Vlogmas Year 10. I woke up early today, girly. I'm an early girly. Compared to the last few days. Oh shit, I'm about to flood my mug. Went to bed at 2.30, woke up at 9.30. Yep, just call me Wellness Girl McGee. I don't care. All right, now that I'm up in time, I finally have time to do my journaling, read my book for book club this month, and head out to Zumba in about a half hour. I'm really happy that I'm getting back to this because this is my fave part of my morning routine, and I kind of abandon it during Vlogmas to add all of the details to my videos and things, but I'm doing that and I'm just going to finish it when I'm home from Zumba because I don't want to do it before. So focusing on this. Guys, if you're tired in the morning, I found the solution. Just listen to Renaissance by Beyonce. It'll wake you right up. I'm very excited for class today. It's been a week of not going to classes, so I'm really excited to return and shake my little booty. And then after class, I need to go and find a gift card for my instructor and put it in this little envelope of our Christmas card. And then at my next class, I'm gonna give it to her. But I just don't know, man. I don't know. Like, is Starbucks the way to go? A movie theater gift card or like, like Chili's? Like, I don't know. Does everybody love Chili's? Yes. My class today was so much fun. My instructor, so when I lived in Oregon and I took Zumba, my instructor did not introduce new songs very often. And when she did new songs, it would be one new song to our regular choreography. But my instructor now switches up her choreography. She just told me, I was asking her, I was like, how frequently do you do it? She was like, probably every like two to three months. But now that I've had so many repeat people, like you and others, I'm like doing it more because I just wanna keep you guys <laughs> into new songs. I was like, wow, that's crazy. That's awesome. And so today when I came, we had so many new songs and we were even doing Christmas songs. And some of them were like funny versions of Christmas songs. And some of them were like Spanish versions of Christmas songs that I didn't know, like last Christmas, but Spanish version. Oh my God, it was amazing. And we even did, you know the song, uh, nails, hair, hips, heels. And it's by Todrick Hall, I believe. We did the Christmas version of that and it was the funniest fucking song ever because there's this part where it's like now pose for me pose for me but instead he changed it to now ho for me ho for me ho ho for me ho for me ho and i was like oh my god this is incredible and as soon as the song ended i told my instructor i was like that was some of your best work truly i can't believe that you did that and she was just laughing she was like yeah i wanted to do a seasonal one <laughs> but I need to like put that song on my Christmas playlist now. That was fucking iconic. Damn, it's bright out here. It's really sunny, but it's really cold. I'm about to go into Target and look for a little gift card for my Zumba instructor. Just to tell her thank you for being awesome and teaching so many great classes for me. Let's go see what they have. Alright y'all, I went to Target and I ended up just getting a $30 Target gift card. Honestly, as soon as I saw them, I was like, okay, this is the one. She can buy anything at Target that she needs. And then I got two cola kombuchas for Finley. He really likes those, but I don't like soda or like the taste of soda. So I just, I didn't get those for me. I got them for him, but I did get the cosmic cranberry to enjoy on the way home. This girl looks so fucking cute. I should have told her in the store. I'm a big fan of complimenting people as soon as I feel a compliment coming on, but it was so busy in there. It was crazy. A bunch of crazy people up in there. Everybody's crazy. Christmas week at Target. Sheesh. All right, let's go home. Going on a little after Zumba walk with my cutie pie dogs. That's one of them. The other's back there. We're going to go to the compost and then we're going to go to the mailbox. Get our steps in. Compost pile's freaking frozen. Ugh. This compost stinks. It's kind of hard having a communal compost pile because I compost my hair. So I'm kind of like, who else is seeing this? You know what I mean? But hair is really good for compost. They just understood. It wouldn't be so weird. Hi girls. Well, what the hell, Larry? Where would you, where'd you just come from? Hi chickies. Oh, everybody's leaving. Okay. Hi, I actually have a lot of spaghetti to give you. I just don't have it here right now. 
I got a lot of leftover spaghetti from the sauce off last night. I got the mail and my dogs are so good. I always make them wait and sit and stay farther down the driveway so they don't come close to the road. And they always wait for me and it's so cute. They're very good at following orders. And Larry's very good at watching his little sister. We got our gift box from Lindsay and Jared. Woohoo! It's really big. But I think we're gonna wait to open this until Lindsay and Jared have their presents and film it on the same day. So I think we'll film it maybe on Thursday because that's when their presents are supposed to arrive to them. My Sammy's looking a little crazy today because I went ahead and put two sausages on it and some spinach I got from the store. And then I have the Meredith Dairy Sheep and Goat, two eggs. It's gonna be delicious. Hey, I forgot to tell you guys that I showered. My hair is still wet and I put on my Bon Apple Tit merch and just some cozy comfy pants because I am currently doing laptop work, laptop club, and watching Lindsay's vlogmas that she uploaded yesterday. And I just have to put you down for a second. Guys, I'm honestly a little annoyed because I'm supposed to be getting our address labels from Shutterfly today and UPS has not updated what is up with them on tracking for five days, like since the 15th. And I'm just like, where are they? They were last in New Jersey. And now it's like, where are they? I don't know if they're coming today. It says that they're supposed to be guaranteed to arrive the 20th by 9 p.m. But I just keep refreshing the tracking being like, okay, well, is it here yet? <laughs> Cause I really want to send out the Christmas cards with all the address labels on them. And I feel really stupid. Like I should have just, I don't know if stupid's the right word. I just didn't have the, hindsight, you know, when I was ordering the Christmas cards to just pay the extra money and get our address printed on the envelopes. I just wanted to save money. So then I ordered from Shutterfly and they've been severely delayed, these address labels. So I just have a box of envelopes that are all ready. Addresses filled out for the 100 envelopes that they didn't print the addresses on. I put stamps on all of the cards, all of the international cards, get three stamps. I did all of that, you know, and I'm just like staring at the box every day being like, okay, any day now I'll be able to send these out. Out, but I don't know. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be that hard on myself because I just did it how I did it this year and they'll arrive when they arrive. And even though they might get there on Christmas day or later, like at least people will see them and have them for a period of time. But I don't know, I just really feel like I need to start doing the Christmas card stuff in November because we didn't shoot the Christmas card until December 5th and then I didn't even order the cards until the 6th or 7th, I'm pretty sure. And then it took them about 10 days to arrive and I finished everything on them and like ordered the address labels and I should have, I guess, picked rush shipping. I just feel like there's so many things where I could have done this option instead and I didn't. And now I'm like dealing with the repercussions. And when I see people in person now, I'm just giving them their cards and just handing it to them and being like, hey, sorry, these are really delayed. You know, I'm seeing you now, so just remembering it to give to people. And I put all of the local cards in the PO boxes here in town where we have family and friends. And I hung on to all of the cards for my siblings-in-law and gave them to them in person. And then I mailed off the Christmas cards in the packages to my sister, Jared, Colin, and some of my other friends where I sent them, like mailed them Christmas gifts. So I just slipped their card in there and like to my grandparents and stuff. So I guess like those people are gonna get them but it's like the other fucking 290 people where I'm like, <sighs> you'll see it eventually. Anyway, I just wanted to complain because I've really been upset about it and I just needed to tell somebody. I'm coming to you from the future to edit this in and say, I'm not seeking advice when I'm complaining here. I know that you listening to me complain probably makes you want to give me advice, but um, I already know what to do. Like this was just the start of me finding out more about this problem. So I used, you know, my context clues throughout the day, figured out some more information, and now tomorrow I'm just going to go to Staples 
and print the labels. I already know all of the stuff that people are gonna comment. Number one being, why don't I just print my own return address labels myself? It's because we don't have a printer. We do have one, but it's in storage. It's not set up and I don't have the like address label paper and I don't want to buy it and do it myself for 300 labels. I just, I don't want to do it. That's why I ordered them. I already paid the money, you know? The second suggestion I'm seeing a lot is what I plan to do when we buy a house, which is order a custom stamp of our address so that I can just use that. But I don't want to order a custom stamp for this house because this isn't our house. This is just my in-laws guest house, you know? So that's also off the table. And then the third option is really the worst of all, which is just to write them all by hand. And I don't wanna do that for the remaining like 290 cards that I didn't personally hand out to people over the last few days who I saw in person or put in their PO boxes or whatever. So yep, I just wanted to let you know, I already know my options and I'm just gonna go get them printed in person for same day pickup tomorrow at Staples. Don't worry about me. Love you, thanks for listening to me complain. I'm currently working on a script for a brand that's going to be, you guys will see the video in January and watching Lindsay's vlog and burning my little candle, sipping my kombucha and trying to forget about this address label nonsense now that I've put it out into the ether. And I'm gonna kind of get a vibe check tonight on Finley when he gets home from work because we're going to a solstice party tomorrow night and then on Thursday we're going to another Christmas party in Charlottesville and then on Friday it's our engagement anniversary so we're gonna go out to dinner. So I was thinking tonight since we have like plans every other night, tonight would be a great night to go and do the Bull Run Festival of the Lights. It's like this drive through and they're amazing amazing and I didn't get to vlog it last year. We went like a couple days after Christmas and it was like my first real feeling like oh my god I'm on Christmas vacation and I was just on cloud nine in that car. Finley was driving and I was looking at all the lights and I was like I'm taking in the holiday season right now. You know what I mean? Because I mean, I do take it in with you guys, but it does get um, pretty clouded, you know, of like getting content, worrying about the vlogs, editing and doing all of that stuff. I wanna say I even worry about the vlogs, but just it's like on my mind, you know, like, oh, I should film this. And so it does take you out of the moment to a certain degree. Not that I don't enjoy doing it and love sharing vlogmas with you, but it just, it does. So having those memories like off camera are always interesting and like my Christmas vacation does really start after Vlogmas finishes and I'm excited for that. But I'm also excited that we're in the last few days of Vlogmas, it's literally the 20th right now. I'm like, oh my God, we only have five vlogs left. What's happening? Did you just wake up or something? Wakey, wakey, come eat carrots and pumpkin. Mmm, carrots and pumpkin. Your two best orange foods for you. You guys are covered in little pieces of your bedding. What's up with that, huh? Delicious. All right, day 20. We're really getting up there to the top of the tree. Oh, an apple tin. Hello. We're on the highway about to go to Bull Run Festival of Lights. Finley after work went to his mom's studio to work on the ceramic bowls for the dogs. Larry said, he, please don't tell me anymore. That's, I didn't need to know anything else put his head down he said please mother I wanted it to be a surprise and we were just kind of discussing more of the logistics of that I think he's gonna go tomorrow night before we go to our solstice party as well to work on them and we were just talking about how really this week is tacking on the holiday stress there's a lot of things going on with just really busy bees but we're taking a little breath of sweet fresh air tonight and we're gonna go see the lights. It's like a little drive-through light show and it's so fucking cute and really well done. Like, really great. So we brought the doggies and they're in their sweaters because it's actually below freezing tonight. So they need to have their second layer on just like us. But I didn't dress up or anything because it's just kind of a car thing. And then there's like a little fair at the end uh, where you can get funnel cakes and just kind of walk around and go on the rides and stuff. And I also brought a hot toddy to go because honestly, when I was leaving the house, I was really sad as hell. And I still am a little sad, but now I'm just trying to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do about these address labels because I talked to customer service for Shutterfly and they said that they don't have any more tracking information for me. And it seems as though my order was lost. So they credited my account for the money I spent and I said, 
all right, well, this is pretty terrible. And then I posted on Instagram asking if anybody had any experience with staples. And I think tomorrow I'm gonna make that my task of the day before the solstice party at night. And that's currently what's on my mind. But other than that, all good vibes. The cards will go out when they go out. Nobody cares as much as I care, you know? I'm excited for the lights. We're here, Larry. Do you want to put on the Christmas music, Larry? Your favorite, Casey? Nova Parks. If anybody needs to take a whistle, you pull off into this lot, hit the pot. There's no pot. Pot is the woods. We're listening to the Casey Musgraves Christmas album, and we're gonna have a totally wicked time. to hit up the fair. Maybe get a couple funnel cakes in me. I brought in my hot toddies secretly and I had a piece of cheese pizza. It was so fast, I got it so quick. We got some french fries and Finley got a corn dog. He loves corn dogs. And giant teddy bears. Sorry for the breaking of the bottles. He wanted me to get on my camera just to show you this. Wow, that's crazy baby. 
And you just have that thing stowed away in there. Is it pretty good? Wow, they're totally gonna stop it with us up here. We're on the Ferris wheel like a couple of cutie pies. Are you a little spooked? He's got a death grip going on. <laughs> Jamaica's right behind us. Every car is a little flag. Don't worry, Rue, you wouldn't have been able to come. Too tiny to be able to come. And Larry wouldn't have wanted to come because he's actually afraid of heights. I wonder if anybody who's afraid of heights watching wouldn't want to watch this. All a good night, everybody. We're gonna listen to our book on the way home. A little of his relief. That was incredible. Way. You goober dogs did a really good job. Wow, at the light show tonight. Good sit, snorty. Good job, everybody. Yeah, Larry got two just because he had to wear his sweater tonight and he doesn't like wearing sweaters. So that was a little pity cookie. Sorry, Rue. You look really beautiful. You're very cooperative in your sweater. Hey guys, it's like 12.30 now and Finley just took the dogs up to bed and I'm just down here finishing up my edits and chilling out, messaging my therapist as well because it's been a really long time since I checked in with my therapist and I just am feeling the stress compounding my glasses are really dirty right now. I need to take them off so I can remember to clean them. You know, it's just nice to check in with your therapist every now and again and tell her the updates in your life and then also say what you're currently struggling with. Like that's what I do personally, since I don't have like weekly scheduled sessions or even monthly scheduled sessions. Ever since I moved, I really haven't been doing like very frequent sessions at all, but they are always nice, so. This is just a reminder, if you're not checking in with a therapist, just check in with yourself right now. How are you doing? Are you doing okay? I'm feeling a little just, whew, you know, there's a lot going on, but I have all of the tools I need to survive. It's just one of those moments where I'm realizing how many plans we have over the next few days, and I'm like, do I have it in me? Yes. How is it best to structure my days so that I'm not overwhelmed? And I'm just kind of thinking about all of those things tonight. So that's what's up with me. But I did have a really great time tonight, a stress-free time, if you will, being at the Christmas light little drive through show, Bull Run Festival of Lights. If you're ever around Manassas, Virginia, you should go because it's incredible. And that's why I wanted to share it with you during Vlogmas. And I hope you enjoyed how long it was. You know, I filmed the entire drive, so you don't even have to pay for the ticket. If you live around this area, you could just watch this vlog. You know, you saw all the lights. It was great. I hope you enjoyed. And I even, I went outside of the sunroof at one point, hung my head out there. I was like, Wow, you know, living it up, loving it. So, yep, you know, anything for the vlog, baby. I did that last year actually too, even when I wasn't vlogging, just because it's so beautiful, especially during that portion where it's like all these little snowflakes and it says winter wonderland on the side. It's just so stunning. So I always go hang my head out of the sunroof for that moment. We also went on the Ferris wheel tonight, as you saw, and Finley was very overstimulated. That's why I'm very excited to give him the little loop earplugs because places like that can be incredibly overwhelming. And um, I think he's also afraid of heights to a certain degree. So he was literally death gripping the Ferris wheel like, <sighs> but I really wanted to go. So he went <laughs> for me and we survived, you know, we went around probably five loops on the Ferris wheel. And that was the only ride that we ended up going on because the last time we were there, all of the rides were closed. So we actually went on a lot of them like in the pitch black, like the obstacle course. And we like climbed on rides and sat and just, yeah, it was great. It was nice to be in a fairgrounds that was abandoned because like I said, like those spaces can be incredibly overwhelming just like the sound oh my god the bottle breaking game tonight it was so loud not just the glass shattering like that was honestly quieter than the sound of the ball hitting the metal backing during multiple clips it was just like pfft, pfft. so i was like oh god people are gonna be overwhelmed watching this vlog i hope that it was all good vibes for you and you were overwhelmed watching it and if you were overstimulated overwhelmed any of the over words i'm sorry that you felt that way. And I didn't mean for you to, it was just the experience that we were having. Fairgrounds are, they're crazy places. You know, you see some crazy stuff, but it's all how you view it. 
you know? Like, it was still a good time for me. I was still vibing. There was a lot of dogs there in little coats. So cute. I didn't want to bring my dogs because I just don't think they would enjoy it. There's too many feet running around, too many smells, too loud. Oh, I wanted to say, because you guys saw the dogs in the car during the drive and stuff like that, the dogs were wrapped in multiple blankets in the car and we weren't at the fairgrounds for very long. We literally just got food and then went on the Ferris wheel and then went back to the car. So don't worry about them. We also like blast the heat before we get out of the car and put on the seat warmers and it was completely warm and totally fine when we got back into the car. So they weren't freezing or anything thing and they had their little sweaters on so yeah I just wanted to tell you that in case you were like you left your dogs in the car anyways this clip is getting really long but I just wanted to update you on all of the things and say my little disclaimers because that's always necessary on the internet right Finley always makes fun of me because he'll always be like oh people love disclaiming on the internet they'll be like don't mind this zit that I have right here and it's like if you didn't say anything would people have commented about it and I'm like a lot of the time they do comment about it so that's why people disclaim it's like you want to like say the thing so that people don't comment about the thing anyways you guys know why I disclaim <laughs> love you thank you for listening to me ramble on in this outro and I will just see you in the morning and I wanted to say in my normal outro I would say you can find me on Twitch or on Patreon when I'm not on here but I will not be on Twitch for the remainder of Vlogmas. I'm going to come back probably on the 28th because our schedule this week is just so busy. We have something to do every single night that I'm streaming this week. And it just didn't really make sense for me. I was trying to like make it work and like find a time. And then I was like, you know what? I just think I'm kind of dealing with a little bit of overwhelm currently. And everybody always understands when I say that. So I've tapped out of Twitch this week and I told everybody on Discord today and said, you know, I wish you a good happy holiday and I'll be back for maybe some belated celebrations. I'll talk about that on Discord, not on here, because I know most of you don't watch me on Twitch, but if you do, it's a good time. That's my outro today. In the meantime, when I'm not on here, I'm on here reading comments, okay? <laughs> so you don't need to go anywhere else to find me because I'm here every day this month. You can follow me on social media, I guess. I'm there too this month, but Vlogmas is my life currently and we have five days left and I really can't believe it. It's gone by so fast but I'm so excited for Christmas and I'm so excited for the next few days of just seeing people and having little functions and solstice things and seeing family and all of that and sharing it with you as I go. So love ya. Thanks for watching. Stay smiling. Bye y'all. See you in the morning. Bye.